Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thanks for joining us today. It is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top stories, let's check in with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. How are things looking today? Well, not all that bad. Plenty of sunshine coming our way as we go through this afternoon. It's just a little bit of a chilly start, but then nice and comfortable by midday. Speaking of midday, lunch hour looks good on future cast. Just a few clouds mixing in, but we end up with plenty of sunshine through the entire afternoon. Three, four, five o'clock looking great as well as we're headed home from work. There are no weather issues. The kids have anything going on after school. All of that looks great on top of that. 72 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. There will be some spots in the higher elevations that have a tough time getting out of the 60s, but it won't really end up making too much of a difference. We're down to 48 tonight, so it's another chilly start for tomorrow morning and a touch cooler of an afternoon. Right around 70 for the day. Friday topping off around 80. Plenty of sun. Saturday and Sunday look good. 82 and 84. Mix of clouds and sun, then a little rain for the first day of fall on Monday, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. A cold case out of Lycoming County has taken its first major step towards closure. The state police have identified remains found in a Philadelphia storage unit facility as Brenda Jacobs. Jacobs went missing from Montoursville back in 2003. The suspect, Jade Babcock, is now in custody. He remains in state police custody until he can be moved from Philadelphia to Montoursville. State police are working on scheduling an official news conference on the case in Montoursville in the coming days. A four term Pennsylvania state senator has been charged with possession of child pornography. The state's attorney general announced the charges against Senator Mike Fulmer, saying the investigation started after a cyber tip. It said Fulmer uploaded a child pornography image using the social networking site. His district includes Lebanon and parts of Dauphin and York counties. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.